Hello everyone, my name is Binks and welcome back to Dear Monster. Uh, we're almost done with this route and my guest is coming soon. So I'm trying to finish it and uh, my, my hiatus before the guest arrives is coming. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this route before my hiatus, but I'm trying my best. So let's continue on. Um, I also have very noisy neighbors. <laughs> They're blasting their music. So if you hear it in the background, I apologize. Uh, can't help it. The neighbors have been extremely loud over the past couple years. Uh, especially the past couple months I'm noticing now that the weather's getting warmer uh, it is what it is when you live in a city and, and you have very inconsiderate neighbors so <laughs> god I can't wait until I can move uh, for a moment we stare at each other neither of us willing to avert our gaze the air swells and crackles with energy finally Inverse laughs he walks up to me and claps me on the shoulder <laughs> You've got guts, I'll admit that. Well, I have to keep up with the dragon. Your aunt sounds like a bitch. I bet she'd get along great with my parents. Oh, Sweet. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> At least she was never violent. There was a time when I broke a lot of stuff around the house. I didn't do it on purpose. It, it just kept happening. I don't remember it that well, but... She never lost patience. Instead, she taught me those concentration exercises, showed me how to control myself and my emotions, which now we know was her uh, forcing you to uh, stop using your power. Where the fuck would you go around breaking stuff? You must have been the most obedient kid in the world. Unless... Oh, fuck. What? It was magic. She taught you how to suppress your magic. That's why you can't do shit. That... Wow. That might actually make sense. I'm sure I never pushed anything off the counter. Never threw a ball and knocked anything over. I must have done it some other way. Without using my hands. I'm... Subconsciously blocking myself? My aunt... Theron and the guy said she used to live in the mansion. She knew about the magic. Maybe she knew how to block it, too. Yeah. What did I tell you in that cage dungeon? You're doing this to yourself. So I am useless in magic because I want her approval? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Choking on saliva. <coughs> Embrace. You're literally killing me. <laughs> I blame you. Uh... Because I want her approval? That's pathetic. God, that music is so loud. Like, I'm, I've always been the type of person when I listen to music, when I'm, you know, listening to earbuds and stuff. Even when I listen to it in the house, I never blast it. Because I don't want to go deaf, you know? <laughs> So I, I never understood people who blast it in their car or blast it in their house. Like, yeah, you want to be able to hear it wherever you are in the house or whatever. But do you have to blast it to the point that everybody has to hear it in the whole freaking neighborhood? It must be so ridiculously loud that, like, you can't even hear other people in the house talk to you or... Like, that's really obnoxious, and you're damaging your eardrums. Like, come on, man. That's very annoying. Inconsiderate bastards. <laughs> it's a huge pet peeve of mine. Ooh. Sorry, man. I'm sure you guys can hear something. Just a little bit. I mean, no, not at all. You are my mage, Alan. I wouldn't have chosen someone pathetic. I like when you call me by my name. Uh-oh, he's blushing. Don't make it weird, human. Alan. For fuck's sake, can we change the subject? Yeah, your auntie doesn't love you. How about you show her and start doing some magic? Wanna train? 
No fireballs this time. I... I don't know. I think I need to process all of this first. I mean, it's not enough to know what's happening. I need to understand how. I need to search for clues, do some research. <sighs> not this boring shit again. If you don't want to train, at least let me fuck you. All this standing around looking at you and listening to you talk made me horny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a few episodes since we had sex, so... I stare at Imbrus. His handsome face, his powerful body, his mouth grinning at me, his eyes bright and inviting. No one told him to make me... To, told me to make him my familiar. I came to him because I wanted to. It was my decision, mine alone. What do I want now? All right, but I want to be in control. It's my turn to talk because I'm a switch in this game or a verse, as I've learned is a term now. Oh, is that so? I'm 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 okay with this. I think it's hot. I could see uh, Embrace being a bottom for him. It's cute. Ah. Uh... I need this to connect with you more. Uh, I just thought it would be nice. Are you scared? In this situation, I think saying are you scared would be kind of like a dick move. <laughs> um, the I just thought it would be nice is kind of a, a weak sounding thing to say. Kind of lame. <laughs> Um, I think the I need this to connect with you more is honestly the best answer. Why? I'm literally able to see inside of you. Aren't we connected enough already? Maybe, but this is what I want. You sure you can top me? Maybe try being a power bottom first? Oh. He's like, no, shut up and get down there. <laughs> I growl at him, mimicking the sound he was making when he fucked me before. Then I grab his horns, pulling his face onto mine. We connect our lips in a steamy, passionate kiss. Oh, Binks is gonna have to do some editing, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> he puts his hands on my back and massages me. He's surprisingly gentle, allowing me to show some initiative and dictate the rhythm of our connection. I explore the inside of his mouth, sucking his tongue and playfully biting his lower lip. Imbris lets out a soft hiss of excitement. I whisper into his ear, Take off your pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you strong enough to make me? He smirks, but there's a flame of encouragement in his eyes. I grab his growing bulge and squeeze it real tight. I said, take it off, dragon. He twitches under pressure on his balls, but the smile doesn't disappear from his face. He quickly unbelts his pants and tosses them between some armor and a weapon stand. Wait, is that the armor from the mansion hall? I knew it. He did steal it after all. I jerk my head away and I focus on the veiny dick in front of me. I know you want to ride it, human. No, do not tempt me. No. I am in charge here, sir. <laughs> okay. I grab his meat and stroke it hard a couple of times. Not gonna happen. I push him down and catch his surprised ass right before he hits the floor. Then I press him to the pile of gold coins. Uh, is this where I cut it? My index and middle finger find their way to his mouth, going in and out, covered in saliva. Imbris doesn't protest. He's eager to suck my fingers to take them deep into his throat. Oh, okay, it's getting very descriptive, so I think I'm gonna cut it here. After a while, we stand up and get dressed. So, uh, some magic was involved during their time together, and, um, Alan definitely was able to kind of, uh, you utilize his power more and he kind of was like oh is this what he meant about 
grasping my internal internal flame or whatever. Um, so it definitely finally worked this time. So it looks like uh, the initial plan of him channeling his power through sex finally worked. Yay! <laughs> what the hell was that? D did you like it? Don't ruin the mood by asking me that. You know I liked your dick. I'm asking about the flames. They felt weird. I can't tell what kind of magic you used, and I'm a dragon. What the fuck? I, uh, I have no idea, but maybe I can do it again. I focus on the sensation from the f from before. Gently, I direct some of the energy from within. At the tips of my fingers, a delicate blue flame begins to dance. What the flying fuck? You have blue flames while well, mine are red? That's really cool, man! What? What is it? It's magic, alright, but it doesn't really do anything. At least not now. Great. I unlocked my magic and it's useless. Maybe instead of being a wizard, I should join the circus. I bet children would love those flames. No, this is good. It seems you can finally use those glowing orbs of yours. It's a start. We'll work with that when we train later. I'll help you turn this thing into fucking awesome magic. Fuck, I'm sweaty. Let's go to your place. I need to take a shower. Then we can do what you seem to enjoy the most. Talk more. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> they had a good time, though. Embrace let go. He trusted Alan. Alan had fun. He got to be on top. <laughs> and he got to use his power. So they bonded. It was good. Can't you just clean yourself with magic? Sure I can, but I like when hot water pours down on me. He opens a portal and doesn't wait for me. I look at his cum on the gold. Does it count as part of his treasure now? <laughs> I step through the glowing gate. I peer in my room just in time to see the doors closing behind Embrus. I sit on the bed and close my eyes. Something did change. I don't know what it is, but I can feel it deep inside. Is this the beginning? Can I really become a wizard? Can I go on adventures and do everything I dreamed of when I was a kid? No, this is not what I was working for all my life. I was supposed to be a doctor. I was going to help people, save people. But would I have made that decision if my aunt didn't direct me towards it? If she could make me suppress my magic, couldn't she as easily make me want to be a doctor? My aunt is not here. For the first time in my life, I can make my own decisions. And if I had magic, maybe I could still help people. Just not the way she wanted me to. Embrus walks into the room. I can't help but stare at his dangling dick, even when it's soft, it's huge. Gr dude. Gross. <laughs> Stop being a pervert. Human, I can't believe I'm going gonna say this, but we just fucked. Stop giving me a mental blowjob. <laughs> He's like, stop being a pervert. You, uh, you could at least cover yourself? What for? <laughs> he shakes his hips left and right, making his cock flop to the sides. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this making you uncomfortable? How old are you again? Much older than one puny human existence. Just stop it. I can't focus with you like that. Okay, fine, you fucking prude. Give me a second. He grunts something under his breath, and he's fully clothed. Just like that. No sparkles, no symbols, no gusts of wind. Frickin' dragon magic. So, how's your magic? I'm... Not sure. I can feel it, I think. But I still don't know how to make it do something. But I want to try, so let's uh, go and do some spells. About fucking time. Let's cast that localization spell and find the old fart. I do want to find Grandpa, but... Have something else in mind? I'm all ears. I swallow. I was afraid of this moment, but I have to ask. 
Embrace. Yeah? If we try to lift the barrier, are you going to burn things and murder people? What? Hell no. I've got better things to do. You said you would. That was before... <sighs> Fuck. No. I won't kill anyone, okay? Or destroy anything. You made me all soft and mushy, okay? Do you promise? Why do I have to... Fine. I promise. On my gold. There, happy. Thank you. I do want to try doing that localization spell, but... Maybe we could try to lift the barrier first, just so I can stop feeling like I'm in prison? I probably won't go back to med school. Not yet, anyway. But it'll be nice to have a choice. Do you even know where to start? Not that I don't believe in you, just that barrier is weird. I've never seen anything like it, and I'm a dragon. See, compared to freaking red flag walking over there, unicorn, who's like actively trying to prevent you from stopping or getting rid of the barrier, he's like, sure, man, I don't care, but I, I literally don't know how to get rid of it, but we can try. <laughs> uh, honestly, I've got no idea. But I want to take a closer look at it. Can we go outside? Embrus nods and opens the portal. We step inside. God, Embrus, I love you, man. Now what? Just give me a minute. I close my eyes and focus on the glowing orbs inside me. They're there, same as always. I used some before, but I think they've been replenished. That barrier. Could I see it the way I see the orbs? I try to change my focus, try to go beyond myself and reach the barrier with my newly found sense. And then something strange happens. Everything comes alive. I feel it pulsing all around us. I can't see or hear it, but it's like everything is tangled in the vast net of something. Magic? Shouldn't it come from inside of me? No, it's more like raw energy. And it's connected to a much bigger stream. I gasp. Not a stream, an ocean. It envelops everything. What the? What, are we under attack? Who should I kill? Aw, so protective. <laughs> no, no, it's... It's the energy. It, I saw it. Human, I'm lost. Did you figure something out? You look like you were about to push a really tough shit out of you. <laughs> Empress, you're such a dummy. I love you. I'm just gonna ignore that. The energy. Everything is connected. It all flows in a huge stream of raw energy. Oh, that. You know about this? Who doesn't know about it? It's the first thing you notice when you're born. I stopped paying attention ages ago. Uh, well, maybe it's normal for dragons, but I never knew about it. Seriously? Yeah, have you ever tried to use it to fuel a spell? Hell no. Why would I want to use some inferior, unclean energy when I've got so much of my own? Right, you're a dragon. You already have too much magic as it is. Anyway, I see the energy, the whole ocean of energy, but I can't identify where each strand is coming from. I love this music, by the way. Except one. I think it might be Grandpa's. How the fuck? You literally discovered it all a minute ago. Telling those strands apart requires years of training. I don't know. It's like it's calling to me? Maybe Grandpa made it that way? It's coming from the barrier, except it's weird. It's like the energy I see is wrong. There's something else, something underneath. Is there like a spell that can make one strand of energy disappear and another appear? No, but there's a spell you use to reveal the true nature of things. Let's try it. Okay, what should I do? Just follow my lead. I'll show you. We approach the barrier. 
Imbrus extends his arm towards it, and I feel him gathering his power. I see delicate flames rise up from his feet and lick their way up to his horns. He looks at me, his amber eyes reflecting the flames. He doesn't have to say anything. I can feel him even deeper now, and somehow I see the shape and purpose of his magic. I know how to connect my energy with his. I will, I will the glowing orbs to come out, shape them to unveil the barrier's true nature. I make them join my dragon's fire and watch as our energies swirl together, almost dancing. It's beautiful and it's ours alone. The ground beneath our feet shakes as our magic expands and wraps around the barrier. I blink. The barrier, it's... I see it now. This thing is not some stupid invisible wall I can't burn, it's... Not a wall at all, or any kind of energy field. There is no wall. There is no barrier at all, it's just a place where the space ends. There's simply nowhere to go beyond that. But how? You can see there's a world outside the mansion. Yeah, but... Ugh, this is so irritating. I can feel it, but my brain doesn't understand any of that. Is it, uh, like a subspace? Farron told me about them, like his forest is a chunk of space Grandpa put inside the mansion with sky and all. You open a door and boom, there it is. Yeah, yeah, similar vibe, but this one's raw, broken. Like somebody forgot to loop the place, or... I've got it, we're not in a subspace, we're in a hole. A hole? The old fart literally cut the mansion from your world and shoved it under. Anyone could fall in, but there's no coming back. To lift the barrier, you'd have to merge the mansion back with the world. I think, or rather feel, you're right, but how can we still see everything around us? Beats me. Probably some advanced illusion spell? To fool that stupid unicorn and anything else that might want to break the barrier. Must have taken months to prepare. What the hell? Okay, so we know what happened, but why did Grandpa separate his home from the world? And how? How about you ask him? Do you really think we're ready to cast the localization spell? You said it was difficult and needed loads of energy. And we already used a bunch to figure out the barrier. It'll be fine. You're not the same weak, pathetic human I pinned to the ground first time we met. You've changed, become powerful, and your eyes... Huh? What about them? Don't know, but I sure as hell like that change. He grins, and it makes my heart go wild. I clench my fists, willing myself not to run to him and jump into his arms. Okay, let's do it. Great, so first thing we'll need... Yeah, yeah, I know. You want to cut me. Only a little bit. We need blood of a relative. No way around it. Come on, you can handle it. Uh, if you really don't want to, it's fine. We can cast an easier spell. One that doesn't require you to lose any bodily fluids. We can do the localization spell another time when you're ready. I blink at that. Will Embrus really listen to me? Aw, he's changed. <laughs> what happened to don't be a pussy or you going soft on me, dragon? I'm really scared. I'll bet it'll hurt. Aw, thank you for giving me a choice. He's changed a lot, so thank you. Don't make this weird. Of course you've got a choice. Didn't you come to me of your own free will? Yeah, but then you were a bit pushy with things. Like when you forced me to train by shielding from your fire breath, remember? Yeah, that was a shitty thing to do. Not gonna happen again. You're my mage. We're partners. Aww. Yeah. Alright. 
In addition to the blood, we'll need something that belongs to the old fart. Something he touched. The more personal, the better. Hmm. Oh, I might have just the thing. Alright, well, I think we will leave this episode right here, because I think after that we uh, only have a little bit left and we'll be done with this route. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I have to do a lot of editing because I got interrupted by a phone call. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. But, and I have to, of course, I have to edit the, the, the sexy times. <laughs> so I actually don't know how long this episode will be. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And, uh, yeah, we're almost done with this route. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the ending because this is one of my favorites for sure. But until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye.